Welcome back, everyone, to some more Big East Championships here for Collegiate Rocket League. I am still Danger Tackle. Joining me is Soy. We just saw DePaul take down Marquette, and they are moving on in the bracket to determine who else is going on a little bit farther. We have our next matchup on stream. It is going to be Butler University against Villanova University. And Soy, what are you looking for in this next matchup? This one uh, is going to be very interesting. Both of these teams have had, you know, their ups and downs. Butler, you know, they went on a tear through the Big East to get to this uh, uh, number three seed, and then in the fall split, they're only, or sorry, in the spring split, their only losses were to teams in this tournament. They lost to uh, UConn in Week Nine, and then. Uh, last week, they lost to that Marquette team that we just saw play. So a little bit shaky here and there. Villanova, they've been doing pretty good. We had, we interviewed Villanova last week after their win over Niagara, and they said, you know, they're feeling good about their chances in this conference. So we'll see if that confidence, you know, flows over here into their first playoff game. Yeah, and this is uh, something that we can see is uh, ups and downs, but there's really no room for ups and downs here. You only have five games to make your statement. There is no lower bracket, and... As we mentioned, that grand finals, only one team going on to those league championships a little bit later on. So um, as we see this game go down, I think that confidence going to that game is really important. As we saw uh, DPU with DePaul, they got the win. But as we talked to Karma Judy, they have been immensely confident going into that. I asked who they were scared of later on the bracket. They said nobody. And I think that's exactly the attitude I'm looking for out of these teams going in. So if Villanova has that then. Uh, a little bit of a shakeup as they do come in here, the lower seed. Yeah, and uh, and they're going in knowing that you know they they are the number six seed. I mean, through the the fall uh, play against their own conference, they went three and six. They struggled in the past against teams like Butler, you know, like Seton Hall that we saw move on in that bracket. You know, a couple of the higher ups, even in this spring split, they got to play teams like UTA. RIT, uh, Delaware, and they and they mm -hmm. struggled. But I think the, those types of games kind of you know warmed them up to the pace of play that they're going to need if they're going to want to succeed in this bracket. And we're going to have to wait any further. We have all the players in the lobby. They're ready to go, and so are we. Kicking off game number one, Butler versus Villanova, fighting to move on here in the Big East Championships. And we're going to be starting off with Brooks right off the bat, taking it right at the goal, but a nice turn away. I am Horace, a great pass, and a fantastic opener, 1-0 early to Villanova. Great stuff here. Kai's just trying to make that challenge happen, and Riles with a great pass down, and look at the shot placement towards that upper corner. No one back in time on the side of Butler, and Villanova first to strike. And I absolutely love that approach. Some players, you play cagey in game one. You don't want to get show your hand. You don't want to, you know, go a little too direct. They just threw that right out the window. They just threw the ball right downfield, kept attacking, and they got their reward. So nice opener here. And Butler getting a little bit dazed there from an unexpected punch right off the bat. Yeah, they love to, you know, oh my goodness. Look at the dunk from Sir Aaron. That's a fantastic play there. Horse trying to get a pass, but Brooks maybe not anticipating it. Sir Aaron, they saw that coming and a great leap up and taking advantage of a mistake. So Villanova, you start off hot, but you have to match that on the defense as well. And so even game here in the first 30 seconds. And if this is any indication, we're in for a lovely series ahead. Yeah, absolutely. And I think just between these two teams, you know, I feel like it's going to be a question of, of depth in the roster. We've seen a couple of, of players on both of these teams, you know, have their pop-off moments. I was especially impressed with last week, Kai was flying around the field, making play after play, keeping his team alive. But I'm looking at Sir Aaron, you know, stepping up here in Astro. They need to, to step up if they're going to shut down this Villanova offense, because if they get shut down, this Villanova defense, it's been questionable at times. And so having that consistency, always important, but especially when a lot is on the line and there are stakes to be considered as now we're going to see coming out of this, another great shot and I am horse, just no one up for that in time. Villanova loved to pepper the net and horse here. Look at the angle he cuts once again. Astro just, 
He just got back there. He's facing the wrong way. You can tell he couldn't turn around in time in order to make that block. And all of a sudden, Villanova is the one throwing these first punches here. Why that shooting practice always so important. And I am forced. That's two shots, two goals for Villanova. And just both of them, the sweetest of contact that you could hope for. And now with the lead back, they just have to protect it. Can they do it here? They will. Riles over the top. Astro will keep it interesting, but Kai up, beats the defender, but no one back up until the defense bumps each other off the post, saved off the other one, and Sir Aaron will put it off the backboard. Inevitably, that will just go out into the midfield. Butler getting robbed here by the woodwork. Astro's got to be bashing his desk right now. That was so close to going in, and the rebound even kicked off the defender and out. He's He's got to be going back to that chance later and thinking that was a sure goal. But the attack is not over here. Astro uncontested in the air. They will put it near goal, not on goal. Will be saved away. Kai to the ceiling. I am horse, though. Solid clear out into the far side. And Villanova, they played well on offense. But right now, the defense also speaking up. They've had that early mistake on the giveaway. But since then, they played fairly well at being able to parry away a lot of Butler's advances. Yeah, right now it is... Uh, you've been very easy for, for Butler to get this ball out. Actually, that was a big clear. And Brooks, that was an awkward play from him. And all of a sudden, Villanova caught here on the back foot. So uh, two minutes uh, to have to withstand Butler pressure. And they'll do it fairly well. Every clear with a lot of potency as Riles will force out an awkward touch. I am horse again on target and Butler just almost not up to the task there. They get a save on that, but I am horse really every angle they're going for. They're hitting it well. Certainly player to watch here as Villanova continues to heat up. 90 seconds remaining. Well, they're still just trying to find that equalizer as we get one into the corner. It'll bounce down dangerously, but Riles on the backflip. The long clear will send it on target. Butler temporary touch, but they won't Get the follow-up, Riles punishes for a third. What a backflip clear, and Kai has to hustle back for this. He's got no boost, though, when he gets back to it, so he can't find a good clear attempt. And once again, just opportunistic Villanova able to punch that one home, and all of a sudden, 3-1, to one, and Butler with short time remaining. Can they get anything going? Yeah, and at a certain point, I think the panic set in there. That ball on the backflip, it was going on target, but I don't think they had to panic too much. But Kai, maybe just so focused on getting back, just overran it a little bit, and the contact was not super sweet. It just kind of set up for that third goal. So potentially a mistake in the eyes of some, and with under a minute, they have to get two more. But Villanova just looks so impressive on offense. Defense, they've been under a lot of pressure, but they managed to hold, and if your offense can score more than you let in, then I don't really even know if that's something they're super concerned about down the stretch. Yeah, their defense has been able to hold for now, and, and Butler, it's not for lack of chances either. You can tell they, their offense has had a little time to set up even off a, a pass play like that, but they just have been able to find some of these angles that, that Riles and Horsey have found. But Astro will keep it going, but deep rotations coming out from Butler mean they can't continue that attack, but they'll keep it going with the infield passes. Astro on target, but not quite in, and that clear. That's not a pinch, but it's on target with power, and Riles gets number two for himself, but number four for his squad. I mean... That is, uh, what do you what do you do to defend that if you're Butler, right? There's no way you can expect that clear to have that much power. And all of a sudden, a three goal lead, that is gonna be game one wrapped in a pretty bow for Villanova. I mean, Riles' first goal was off the back, but the second one was off the pinch. They don't give that RN genius title to just anyone. And Villanova looking like some RN geniuses in game number one, a solid, 4-1 victory over Butler, and they will take the series lead. And again, this is playing to the Villanova style. Uh, they love to be aggressive and just rack up shot after shot after shot. But really what's surprising to me 
is that the shots were dead even. Butler had just as many chances. So it goes back to that quality versus quantity that I bring up time and time again. Just there were so many kind of panic scenarios for Butler in that defense, whereas the defense of Villanova, it was always ready for whatever shot came to them. Yeah, and the saves, its I think it's a very important aspect in Collegiate Rocket League when you're playing very good teams with good offenses. Bending, but not necessarily breaking. They took a lot of pressure Villanova, but they were able to manage it. And then, more importantly, they were able to counter that into some goals for themselves. Sometimes off Butler mistakes, but sometimes just off a of fantastic shooting. Going back to I Am Horse, it's fantastic hits on contact. If he can keep that up, that is the player to watch for me because that is really the galvanizing force for this Villanova offense and it's going to be a long day at the office for Butler if they can't find a way to cut them out of the attack and then so it's one thing to just you know find the or try for those angles it's another thing to hit those angles because then you're forcing the defense to make a save so that even after they make that save they don't have a lot of resources or boost you know left in the tank in order to make a play so him finding those angles is massive a nice demo off the bat here. So we're seeing some physical play. Something we didn't see too much of in the last game. It was a fairly clean one as I always actually goes for a second one along the back end. And we'll keep the ball moving around midfield as I Morris will take this one to the sideline. They won't get the pinch they're looking for. Kai gets the deflection. Nice little tap. It's a nice setup for Astro. Deflected, it's still in the Villanova half. Sir Air to the back post, but I am Morris equal to it. Kai. Good midfield defense and Butler just trying to lock in Villanova early on in their half with some nice aerial play to start us off. Yeah, Butler, you can tell they are not happy with the results of game one and they are trying to press on hit, uh, onto this offense. And, you know, the, that midfield game that was so important. And you got to be kidding me. How many of these pinches are Villanova going to land in order to get these clears? I mean, they're all in comms. I have to assume it's somewhat planned. And another fantastic shot from Eye of Horse. Wrong footing the defender, and Villanova will find a lead again this time in game two. I mean, what do you do here if you're Butler? That This is all off of that pinch clear. And again, just two people commit to the play. Sir Aaron kind of gets caught on that back wall with nowhere really to go, ends up committing to the ball. and not able to get to it in time and that leaves Horsey with another you know hard cut of an angle and the fact that he is landing these time and time again is making it so difficult for Butler now there's never a time to pop off it's within your conference championships and they might be able to continue this as Kai wrong footed they get a little bit of the ridge of the goal will work out that time as Riles can't continue it Astro roll out i am horse will just hit that one near goal but we'll go into the corner i'll we'll keep it alive with a high lob no one up on villanova just a little bit out of boost so butler on the counter just can't get on it and it, right now it just seems like butler we're seeing a little bit of uh, sprinkles in of what we saw out of marquette really just panicking to get this ball villanova moving the ball very well and keeping pressure and it's a tough thing to break out for sure and i'm sure it's certainly frustrating for butler coming in here the higher seed yeah, you can tell just Villanova, the pace of play is there. They are quick to every play. They are not making it easy for DePaul, or sorry, for Butler, like we saw in that DePaul Marquette matchup, to get out of the zone. But that was a chance, and no one able to find a touch onto the ball. And the chance will have to reset as Kai up for that one cannot find the touch as well. Just there's not a lot left for Butler once they get possession in the offensive zone. They have a couple of chances, but they can't find the net. And even when they do, they don't have a lot of power on their shots because they've already used their boost getting the clear. And the defense will hold from Villanova. Really, a lot of chances from Butler have just been these high lobs that they've been chasing. I haven't seen too many infield passes, but it's nice to see some creativity coming out. No passing there, just an air dribble deflected away. And now, off the sidewall, Sir Aaron will get a nice little deflection. Kai keeps it high. I am horse. They're waiting a little bit. That's a delayed hit, and they don't even touch it. They make a mistake, and Kai will get credit for that one. I mean, Kai doesn't probably think this one's going in, but Sir Aaron gets two bumps onto Riles, and Horse just mistimes his play off the wall. That's a, that's a tough angle to come at to make that play, and 
he was so close but just couldn't find it and the ball just slowly bounces into the net. But Butler will take it. They needed some momentum the way this game was going. And I have to assume for Ryan Horst, it was just expecting someone else to touch it. We mentioned Riles didn't get the contact. Maybe just out of surprise, they were just not able to get the touch that they thought they had guaranteed. But whatever the matter is, we are all tied here and now under 90 seconds and into a little bit of a crunch time. And it's, I think this is a crucial moment here at the crux of this match for Butler to be able to resurge and try to gain some control back because Villanova has been very impressive on offense. If you see a gap in the defense, you have to punish it. And as I say that, Kai trying to leap on that one, but will be turned away. A little bit of a bump between teammates here. Astro diving near it, makes a couple players miss. Could be a giveaway as Kai rolls it under one, rolls it past two, but it'll just roll up above the goal and Riles will get another touch out as this ball is just sitting on the Villanova goal, but the clears will hold and Brooks will be able to get that one out into the corner. That was a good defensive stand for Villanova. They were able to, you know, find some of those angles. And you can tell this Butler offense, it's starting to wake up. It's starting to get some pace underneath it. And it's starting to find some of these angles. They just can't find quite a, a good enough shot to really land one on net. But speaking of chances, two will not go away. And all of a sudden, 24 seconds left in Villanova with the lead. And part of playing fast is making sure you communicate two players up for Butler. Neither of them get the contact they're hoping for. But Villanova does. They put that one right into the danger area and will dunk that one in. And unfortunately, right here at the end of the game, they will have a lead. Butler going to have to mount a comeback potential in the final 15 seconds. And this could be the start of it as they roll it up the line. Kai with a high lob, but plenty of time to work with. They take too much, though. And that one's gonna get it deflected. Astro into the corner. I am, they're not gonna go up for this. They're just gonna lob it above the goal. Zero seconds. Can they do anything with this off the backboard? Kai is up, they drop it, it's off the bar! And Villanova hanging on is gonna take game number two. And somehow they get a golden opportunity and they get the striker too. Kai, who had been playing hot this past week is up for that ball and that is just such a hard angle to drop the ball down at and Villanova escaped there in the last couple seconds but at the end of the day it's quality over quantity Villanova's chances they just look a lot stronger when they shoot the ball on offense because Butler I mean you look at how well they were look at that shot total they, they had what 13 shots in that match over Villanova's four but at the end of the day, just their offense, it, it, it's not quite there yet. These angles aren't quite as strong. Horsey is finding incredible openings, and all of a sudden, they're on match point. And just, I am Horse just feels like that sniper in the bush is just waiting for a chance, ever so patient, because as you mentioned, a massive amount of shots coming in from Butler, but Villanova only needs so few. Why? Because I Am Horse is picking their spots and hitting them beautifully. 845 points coming off the back of two goals from I Am Horse. Also six saves for his squad. So getting it done on both sides. The only error really in their play was just that one miss, but at the end of the day, they scored more than they let in. It's still the same story for Villanova. Game number three, they are on match point. They can complete this sweep. And in my opinion, it's going to come on the back of I Am Horse right now. The way Horse has been playing, he is, he is going to be a, a fun player to watch if Villanova can continue their run here. But really just, uh, it is surprising that this Butler team that has played so well for so long has been kind of shut down. It is strange to see a Big East offense really kind of get collapsed on and, and not have their chances. Again, they had plenty of shots, but just the, the defense of Villanova, it, it, is, it has shown up today in a big way, especially through players like Horse. And now they'll go back into offenses. Riles will try to send one to the corner, but Kai gets a nice touch there, I believe switching to the Fennec, so car change is one of the many changes that Butler is going to try to bring into this game number three, as really, they haven't been blown out in any of these games. I'm not, even the four goal swing, it was really just off of great finishing, but they've been in these games, they've gotten good opportunities, just 
not been able to finish them off. So I'm really looking to, for them to get that confidence. I think getting an opening goal here will go quite a long way for Butler and have a chance here with this pass, but well cut up by Riles again. And they're gonna have to rebuild. It's just Villanova just getting on every single ball out of the midfield so quickly. Riles has also done a fantastic job. He was having a great couple weeks for Villanova before this playoff. And then of course he just kind of woke up on this team, but there's a chance in front. Astro too far for him, can't cut that angle. But that's a huge clear. That's just gonna find its way to the net and Brooks makes it one nothing and Villanova once again, first to strike. Brooks has been a little bit quiet, but they've been holding it down. There's, you can always tell when there's a gap in play, when there's a player not pulling their load, but been quiet and now they can announce themselves a good awareness off that deflection on the far side. But unfortunately, it's going to be followed up by a kickoff error. That's just sitting in front of net. But Kai, unfortunately, is not gifted a nice read. And that one will go awry. So always got to be careful on these kickoffs. Always going to be in a dangerous area. And Butler, though, keeping it around the goal, but not on. We still stay at 1-0 here as Villanova yet again bends, but does not let one in. That was a huge chance for Butler. They really could have used that one. And Astro, again, he he was the player for this Butler team. If Kai and, and Sir Aaron are moving up, Astro has got to step up. And he had a chance at that kickoff goal if he committed, but he misread the bounce off the post and just didn't go for the ball. And so all of a sudden now, half the game remaining, and Butler, they have got to find a way to counterpunch here. Riles gets a little bit of a dunk on that. Astro sending it high, but just going to go right to I am Horace. Great transition play into Riles, but not on target. And sending it right back. Sir Aaron on the chase. A great bounce for Kai, but it's just a little bit too far. They can't quite put it in. I am Horace saving that to the corner just in case. Another ball off the side wall. Sir Aaron keeping it interesting. Villanova, they have to be running out of boost by now. That's going to force a double commit. Sir Aaron steals a boost to the back post. Riles. Another save, Villanova. I don't know how they still have momentum to get these saves. Riles going left to right, and finally, it will break down. Sir Aaron will tuck one in on the open net. Speaking of angles, I mean, this one, Riles finds the save, and look at Sir Aaron. He's just trying to force that thing on net and gets a beautiful lofted shot to the, to the corner. As you said, just no one on Villanova had boost in the last couple seconds there, so no one able to get to that ball. And Butler, they got the momentum they're looking for, and Kai leaving it on a silver platter for Sir Aaron. Smooth as you like. Look at this. Tucks past one and then knows all they have to do is just get a little bit of a pop. Sir Aaron waiting for it as the easiest job of all, tucking it in on the open net and well-earned lead back for Butler. Now let's see if they can hold it against Villanova as they try to extend this series as they'll send another one straight down. Good save out, but some demos coming in here. Made me a little bit nervous, but Villanova holding on for now. Another demo in goal from Astro, but I am horse. Good job at wasting some time and they will survive that demolition derby. That was big too. That clear bought them a lot of time, as you said. That's a good shot though. Let's we'll see if Villanova, how's their transitioning? They're getting loud at midfield off of that play, and that is a dangerous carry in front of the net. And we'll see Kai keep it going again. And right now, Villanova has to be getting a little frustrated. They have not gotten solid contact for quite some time. Even there, off the backboard, and it's off the ceiling now. Kai with a wonderful strike for three. Oh, talk about shot placement. Look at him read this bounce. I mean, as the ceiling drops it down for him, and that's just that's just a beautiful shot. Horse just doesn't have enough in the tank in order to make that play. And all of a sudden, Butler's offense waking up when they needed it the most. Now we're seeing Astro with a nice lift. I am Horse has a touch on it, Sir Aaron. Keeps it alive, but that's ultimately not going to go to their teammate. Guy's gonna have to tap that one to the corner. Riles, just desperate to get out of their own defensive half for a while, will chase this one down as one sent off the backboard. But actually now on the counter, Kai has a lot of space in the air and they're gonna take it with an air dribble. I am horse. Who else gets the save? Another pinch by Sir Aaron, but Butler, this is a confident team and they're racking up quite the number of shots. 
only got to last the next 10 seconds, but they're doing it well, and another long clear might have just sealed this game for them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, maybe they get one for the road here, but it is still just a, a complete turnaround from what we saw through the first two games as Kai will find just he's up so quick to the play and no one on this Villanova defense ready for it. You see horse by a little bit of time, but at the end of the day, Kai rushing in and, the, and, and Butler's offense, it, it woke up when they needed it the most. Kai, Sir Aaron, even Astro getting in on the scoreboard on offense. And this is what we were talking about earlier, is that we mentioned Butler had played very well throughout the series. They are the three seed after all. They had 100% goal participation from Kai, but of the 16 shots, Kai had 10 of them in that past game. Just incredible offense coming out from Butler, and I'm glad they're actually getting something out of it. Last game feels like one of those anomalous, how does this make sense games where they're dominating the shot category, just putting in nothing. This is a return to form, and this is the Butler I was expecting to see coming into these championships. Yeah, I, it really is, and I, I gotta commend Kai. I mean, 10 shots alone. Like, that, that is 16 for the team, and he's got 10 of them. That is a lot. So just great stuff for, for this offense. If Kai, I said it before, Kai looked impressive last week, and despite them losing to that Marquette team, Kai was flying around making plays. He was he was the guy kind of keeping them alive in that space here in game number three in a big way. Sir Aaron finding those angles once again, you know, being quick, winning those 50-50s. Sometimes it's not just, you know, like we saw in that last series, it's not about, you know, peppering the net always like Villanova does. Sometimes you just got to beat the guy in front of you. And they're doing it well, and we're going to have to see if that strategy holds up. They've gotten one, but they need two more get a reverse sweep and extend their series lives, but this is the chance to strike. Villanova has not looked more vulnerable than they did last game, so trying to be opportunistic is Butler, but Villanova seems as though they've remedied that somewhat. They've been able to withstand that first attack, and trying to mount up another one is Brooks, but that's just going to be a lob off their sidewall. It's a giveaway. Sir Aaron is over the top, but Ryle's able to come in at the last second, and they'll put that one out in the corner. That was a huge turnaround to the chip over top, and you can tell all of a sudden there's a, there's some extra found speed on the side of of Butler. They are quick to these plays now. It is not easy for Villanova to get out of their own zone anymore. Long ball coming down. Kai gets a fantastic clear there, and Brooks got a little bit of deflection, got a little bit worried there, but will manage. Astro keeps things alive. It's on target, not a lot of power. I am horse. Saved to the corner and transitioning out. Nice clear and two players commit. How many times have we seen that from Villanova on the double commit? It works out perfectly. They'll get it clear, but this time not rewarded for that one. Yeah, we saw a couple pinches early in this set, but I mean, now these double commits are a little more panicked, more, more so than calculated as this series has gone on. They know that this Butler team, it is not going to go down without a fight, and you can tell the pressure is still on their defense here to come up with some saves, as that could have been dangerous, but Horsey able to get it at least to midfield, but uh, again, Butler, they're drawing that line. They're doing a fantastic job of, of winning the, these midfield battles, and there's not a lot left in the tank for Villanova's defense here. No, but they are holding, and it's still scoreless here as two minutes have elapsed in this game, coming up on half time. I am horse getting another clear, but that's really all that Villanova has been able to muster. Just long clears down, not a lot of possession. I'd like to see them calm down, take a deep breath. But at the end of the day, in order to do that, you need boost and you need a lack of pressure. And Butler is not being so charitable. They are constantly throwing that ball back down as Kai generates a fake and gets, sets up a brilliant pass. But Sir Aaron, not the shot that they are looking for. Beautiful there. He got a, a lot of power on that shot. I just don't think Sir Aaron was ready for it. I think Kai actually wanted the ground pitch. Body. You can tell this Butler offense, it's got space to work with, and it is so dangerous as that one nearly finds his way to the net. Another flick over, but I am Horace holding down the backfield. We'll get another clear Astro. Pop it high, but leave the ball. 
sitting out in the midfield. Kai, quick onto this one. So is I Am Horse. Gets the touch across, gets a bounce off the corner. Brooks is lurking. They're waiting for that clear. Now to Riles. High lob off the backboard. Brooks is up for it. Tough read. Shows why. Kai instead will slap that one. And Sir Aaron will be able to extend it. But now we're starting to see both teams just trying to get contact first. And not a lot of direction. And I'm looking honestly at this point. It might just have to come down to a brilliant passing play or just a failure to clear as both squads holding up well for now, but just not enough. Another couple deflections. Yeah, this is a uh, very, very close. I mean, this is so dangerous. We'll have to wait and see here with a minute remaining. You see, Astro will tap that one high as Brooks another clear out. And we are just reaching 60 seconds remaining. This is the closest game we've seen, but stats are following a pattern here. Butler over double digit shots, but none of them have found the target until right then, I thought. But Astro going to get saved yet again. Villanova, this is something they haven't experienced. They've had to withstand a lot of shots, but Butler is looking so incredibly confident coming forward. This is very dangerous for the side of Villanova. They had all that momentum through these first two games, but you can tell there's some there's some newfound light under the side of DePaul. But or sorry, I said DePaul. I meant Butler. I don't know what I'm <laughs> what I'm thinking. But Astro here. This is a good dribble attempt, and it really does feel like one goal should be the difference maker. He can't find the net. Astro. That was a beautiful chance. The pressure's still on here for Villanova's defense. So they hold for now. And you know, I was like, Villanova, they're in stealing territory. They have withstood so much pressure, but all it takes is one goal setting up. I am horse. It's near goal, not in it, though. Another save out. Riles keeps it alive for a second, but that's all it's going to be. Bouncing down overtime here. Butler with all the chances, but none of the results trying to extend this series. And Villanova holding on for dear life. And this was the question coming into this set. Could Villanova's defense hold on long enough to give their offense chances? We know every team in this Big East can score, but it's up to these defenses to give their team a chance. And right now, Villanova, their defense has got to hold on for just a bit longer. That's a dangerous opportunity forced wide. And Really, this is going to be a, another question. Can Villanova find a way out of the out of the midfield with possession? Because what it feels like for the past couple minutes or so has been these diving saves on the side of the defense of Villanova. And that's actually two in the corner, though. I am horse. They're going to deflect that around. Astro is going to save them temporarily, but while still bouncing around in the corner. They're just trying to get it out. They will, but only going to be a roller to the sideline. Kai. Files it up on the air dribble, gets one more extension, but Riles to the corner again. Villanova going left and right, and it's a little bit more of a possession play, but ultimately they can't hold on to it. I haven't seen a pass from them in quite some time, but maybe they don't need it. But as I said, that Kai actually got the clear, didn't think they had the speed, but right now this is starting to calm down a little bit. Butler is starting to space out a little bit. I think they understand the stakes now as we reach overtime. It doesn't matter if you have all the pressure. All it takes is one mistake and their series is over. Oh, what a fake underneath. Can he find the dunk on Riles? No, Horsey gets back in time. Kai shot. What a save by Horse, but two players commit. This is still dangerous. They're able to get it out of the box, but they don't have a whole lot left in the tank. That is a huge clear. That's going to buy a lot of time for Villanova. What a quarterfinal this is shaping up to be, especially if Butler can extend this, but they're still looking for how much longer really just seems to be the question at hand. Astro not the contact to extend that play. They're only going to get a brief 50 here. Sir Aaron will clear it out. I am horse. They're out of goal. Sir Aaron's close to it. Not close enough. And now Astro off the sidewall will send it back into the danger zone. A lot of doubles coming out from Villanova. But Brooks, they're all alone. Can they get the touch? They won't be able to! Kai, who else will send Butler into a game number five? You said it, the double commit comes through and Brooks is the last guy just trying to get back to net in time and he cannot do so, cannot find the angle. And Kai with the overtime goal and all of a sudden, 
It is now a game five scenario. Back and forth these teams go. What a set. What a series. I, it's been a long time. So we have casted together a couple times, and we've both been casters in the scene for a while. It's been a very long time since I have seen a team put up 22 shots in a game, overtime or otherwise. Butler is just pouring it on, and what a swing. I mean, we talk about comeback attempts. It's one thing to be able to eke out some wins, but this is just a completely different Butler squad. They're not always getting the goals they need, but this is exactly the type of pressure that we were looking out of them in games number one and two, but we're finally finding in games three and four. Yeah, I mean, talk about a, a momentum swing, right? It's just Villanova. We were talking about how crazy horses angles were and, and how, you know, this Villanova team loves to pepper the net, but their defense has just been tested and tested and tested and, and it has just been shot after shot after shot. Kai, Astro, you know, it's just back and forth. Sir Aaron, just the rotation of this offense from Butler it is clean it is fast and it is showing up when this team needed it the most now headed into game number five Villanova what do you have to say it started off hot but Butler has done well to cool you down and in it to the final game of this set the winner will move off my University of Connecticut who has just seized a win over on our sister stream so just this is so interesting because Villanova looking to play upset, but Butler showing seeds do matter, results do matter. It sometimes you can have an anomalous performance, but this is not the time you want to see your opponent start heating up. Yeah, this is gonna be very pivotal. I mean, the winner of this is on to the next round. They know the stakes are on. Once again, I just feel like the way these last couple games have gone, it feels like, you know, one mistake, one hard cut angle. Who is going to be the player to make that play? We've seen Horsey. We've seen Kai. Can someone find another one? Horsey's going to strike first. And again, Villanova able to get that first goal, deliver that first punch. That's a big one, but still plenty of time remaining. Rocket League can be like chess. You have to look two moves ahead. Kai does well to cut past the first two, but I am horse lurking in the shadows is able to dunk him in and even more so put it to that back post. Good opener there for Villanova. And it's going to give him a little bit of confidence. Butler, you've been in this situation before. Doesn't always end well. Comeback attempts don't mean anything unless you can bring out the brooms and complete them, but still plenty of time to go and plenty of offensive firepower for sure and maybe this is a start off the bar is astro and they're gonna have to keep looking though but villanova hangs on again to that opening goal that they've been able to muster but what a save by Hyatt force i was trying to ramp into the goal but they will again make a miracle save you can't see it, but my jaw dropped. Are you oh. kidding me? That was pixels away from being in the back of the net. Butler's got to feel like they were robbed, and now they got to work so hard against this Villanova defense to find one here with still three minutes to go. Hopefully that makes the replay package afterwards. I need to see that again, but Butler doesn't need to see it again. They just need anything on the board. Kai will finally put that in with all three players contributing. Sir Aaron and Astro make this play happen. Sir Aaron beats one. Astro, rather than rotating back, turns immediately to beat the second defender and leaves it once again on a silver platter for Kai. It's a great interplay coming out from Butler, getting everyone involved and just working it around the Villanova defense. It's not necessarily set up perfectly, but all it is is just keeping it out of the bumpers of Villanova. And sometimes that's really all that matters. So. Get to see that they're able to chain that together. We're back into a very intriguing territory as we reach halftime in game number five. We're all tied up, but that's still not preventing Butler from really trying to pepper that backboard. That's a second one coming through from Kai. That's a double miss on the goal line. Riles pop that one high. I don't think they have the air dribble as Astro does. He touches it on target, but I am horse. Another save. That one's going to go out in the corner. That was a huge chance for Butler. Two ways there. They get two plays in the air. That's over top. That's going to find its way in. And Astro gives Butler the lead. 
I am always get the clear. Brooks jumped off and landed in the worst possible position. They were turned away. They were a little bit too far. And that floater is going to give Butler the lead. Two minutes, eight seconds. That's all Villanova has to do to muster up another opportunity to bring this game back level. We've seen these offenses be so deadly beforehand, but the way the, that this series has gone, Nova has had such a struggle getting any of these offensive chances oh. that they found through games one and two. What a dunk by Astro, and all of a sudden, it's a 3-1 lead. And unfortunate angles taken from Books. They flipped away, and it channeled the ball not into the sideline, but instead right down the middle. And that's going to be number three, Butler, feeling themselves. They just have to hold this lead for another two minutes to advance. And what an improbable comeback it seemed at a certain point this is. This would be massive. I mean, the way Lenovo was playing through the first two, it seemed impossible, like you said, but what a save there to keep their chances alive. A minute 30, and the pressure just does not stop. Saved by Brooks, and Sir Aaron still finds one on net. Is anyone there? No, Sir Aaron's going to get this one home, and all of a sudden, Butler, four unanswered goals. And when it rains, it really does pour. We have 80 seconds remaining here, and Butler yet again has eclipsed somewhat effortlessly every game, it seems, those double-digit shot totals building up so much pressure, and they are just cruising. This snowball effect is unlike something, I've anything really, that I've seen in quite some time. This is a resurgence like I've really never seen any team do before. It is something else when these teams get going. And I mean, there is a reason this Butler team was number two in the conference and they are showing why, or number three in the conference, they are showing why is that shot nearly finding its way home. And Villanova, if there was ever a chance, it, the next shot has to go in, but look at how difficult it is for them to get into the blue zone. Astro with another attempt off the backboard here. and. I feel like this one, just the momentum for Villanova was sucked out of the Coliseum. There's nowhere for them to go. Yeah, and we saw them in previous matchups. Marquette maybe getting some for the road, but for Villanova's case, that's really all it's going to be for the road. This series has been locked up by Butler. Fantastic play down the stretch for them and a well-deserved berth into the semifinals coming forward. But Villanova, a valiant effort, but sometimes it's just not enough. And we're going to see this one be finished off in style by Kai on the air dribble. Butler moving on to face UConn in the next round. Just a reminder, you know, why they are so strong in this league. Kai gets a beautiful goal to end this series in reverse sweep fashion. I mean, what a turnaround, right? I, there's there's no other way to really say it. Just when this team needed it the most, they let it all out on the field. Kai, Sir Aaron, Astro, every single player woke up when they needed to. And five to one in a set that we were talking about looked so close. All of a sudden, Butler showed up. Yeah, and really that's the perfect chance to be able to do is be able to show up when it matters. And Butler, I mean, at times I cannot imagine what they must have been thinking after those first two games because they were getting so much pressure and just not getting rewarded. But I'm glad to see them wake up. And this is the effort you really need later on in the stages. So it's a good thing to see. And moving on against UConn, that's the energy you're going to have to bring because competition only going to get more and more fierce at, from this point on. Yeah, absolutely. And UConn getting that upset over Xavier, that number two C. I mean, we said it before, just every team in this conference feels so dangerous. Villanova nearly getting the sweep, but Butler just does not go down without a fight. And these are going to be some, the, some fun semifinals, to say the least. This is going to be a great day. Absolutely, and uh, we're going to then throw you to a break as we try to ready things up. We will be back potentially with an interview from a player from Butler, but don't go anywhere. We have plenty more action here for the Big East Conference Championships here presented by AEF.
G. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you're able to get some water, take some deep breaths, calm that heart rate down. After we saw a thriller of a series here, a reverse sweep coming in from Butler University to take the W and move on in this Big East Championships. We are sitting down here with Astro from Butler. And I have to ask you, what was the mindset as you guys went through such an up and down series? Uh, I mean, we were just trying to stay calm. Obviously, it was very hard. It's playoffs. And uh, once we went down 2-0, well, we just like took a reset, like talked it out, and just tried to stay as calm as possible. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about that reset. I mean, the way the the momentum was going, games one and two, it looked like it might be a, a an early exit for you guys, but you guys turned it around all of a sudden in game number three. What was really the difference maker for you guys in this set? Uh, I think our difference was, well, I, again, we just like kind of took a reset, but at game three, we realized we could keep the pressure. We also figured out our kickoffs better. And once we like kept our pressure going, I think, one of the games we had like 22 shots and they had three. And so once we got our rotations down on offense instead of defense and started focusing on that, it like turned our whole mentality around. Yeah. And the thing that I, I'm curious about is, was it, there any point in which you really were fi fixated? Because I know it's sometimes on uh, when you're playing these matches, you get a lot of shots, you're getting a lot of pressure, and the defense able to hold. Was that getting frustrating at a certain point? Because it was comical to the point where you guys had 20 shots and just every single time it was off the bar, just a close save. Like, how, how did you guys really deal with the stress of knowing that you're just so close, but you're just not able to break through? Um, I mean, obviously it's very frustrating, just like hitting. It's a combination of like a little nerves and everything. But if we'd miss, we'd always just say like, it's okay, go back. Like. And then we'd follow it up and try to just stay in the play as much, not worry about it. We tried to like have a short term memory, I guess, in a way. Like to, if you miss, it's okay. Just rotate out, get boost, and we're back in the play. You guys are on to the next round. I believe you are you are on to play UConn in the semifinals. How are you guys feeling about that matchup? Uh, I think we're feeling pretty good. We've been scrimming them a little bit, so we're both familiar with how each other plays. So. I think it'll be a good match, and I'm excited for it. Well, you per certainly put on quite the show for us here uh, on stream, and I want to thank you for really uh, all of that. And I'm sure we're all very excited to see what this squad does, especially with the amount of offense you're putting up. But uh, I believe that'll actually do it for anything that I have to ask. I was wondering if uh, you had any shout outs you'd like to give uh, to anyone out there. Uh, shout out to my team, Ky Cam and Henry. They're both really dope. My parents, they're watching. Uh, my friend Carson, been playing Rocket League with them forever. I think my roommate Ben is watching too. And uh, anyone else I know, glad you're watching. Thank you. You got a whole watch party. It's great to hear. Yeah. You. Uh, a fantastic win from you and the boys at Butler. And thanks for sitting down with us. Thank you. And with that, we're going to send you guys all to another break. But we'll be back with more Big East Conference Championships. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back after a short break.